Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last two weeks. Android Things Developer Preview 6.1 has API support for configuring and managing low-power wireless personal area network, including first-class networking support for Thread. These types of connectivity solutions enable Android Things devices to perform edge computing tasks, aggregating data locally from nearby devices to make critical decisions without a constant connection to cloud services. Links to get started are on the post linked in the description below. The M20 release of the Flutter plugin for Android Studio and IntelliJ is now available. Fixes and improvements are listed on the post. Our OAuth API access controls now let you control access to Google Cloud Platform resources in addition to your users' G Suite data. Details and screenshots are on the post. To help you do more with ML, we've adjusted our prices for Cloud Machine Learning Engine and added new features including Python and TensorFlow updates. More details are on the post. We've also been expanding our portfolio of pre-trained machine learning models to offer more intuitive features. Cloud Video Intelligence, our machine learning API that analyzes video content, is generally available and now offers video transcription. Cloud Natural Language Content Classification, our latest feature, which automatically classifies content in over 700 categories, is now generally available and has added additional samples in seven programming languages. You can now deploy TensorFlow models with CoreML on iOS. Links to the documentation and the CoreML converter are on the post. Hangouts Meet is now accessible through the Google Calendar API to read conference data associated with events, copy conference data from one event to another, and request new conference generation for an event. Example code is on the post. We built an iOS game with Firebase and the Unity project is open source. Take a look at the post to learn more about the Firebase Unity SDK and how it's used in Mecha Hamster. The Graphics API Debugger is a new tool that helps you diagnose rendering and performance issues with your applications. With it, you can capture a trace of your application and step through each graphics command one by one. Take a look at the post for screenshots and the download link. The S2 library is the core geometric library on which Google's global geographic database is built, and now it's open source. Take a look at the post for a description and the GitHub link. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's TLDR. If you'd like to catch some earlier updates or get the inside scoop from GDD India, click right over here.